JJ, when Blake goes down, what's the message to the guys and, and how confident were you even without him that you guys could do this? I mean, everyone's got to step up. I mean, yeah, Blake's an extremely important player to our team, but we got 142 other guys that are just chomping at the bit to get after him, so extreme confidence coming in. You talk about how Donovan stepped up? For sure. I mean, that, that guy's so special, so talented. I'm so happy for him to put it on display today. JJ, JJ, at the half, um, what kind of adjustments did you make in the offense? It looked like a, a different side, a little different in the second half. None, uh, no adjustments. We had we had a full game game plan ready for them, and uh, we just the message was just we're we're the best second team, second half team in the country, and we prove it every single week. And it was just great to go out there and do it again. JJ, did you feel like they were almost there? In the uh, a little bit, yeah. Especially at first when they were just stopping all the runs for like two, three yards of carry and safeties were playing so low, so that excited me even more. To the right here, Steve and Aaron. Uh, JJ, take us through your run in the end. That was so critical. Keep your teeth going. For sure. Uh, I, I fight Coach Moore for those plays. Like, just give me the ball when we need to get some gritty yards and I'm going to go and get them. He's been open all year, and I was just so happy to finally connect with him. He's a special player, and that play he made on third down when it was cover zero and breaking that tackle, like two tackles, this kid's a special player, and I'm so happy to play with him, too. What did you feel the game cover Um, I want to say right after that uh, touchdown coming out of the half, I just felt like we were able to do everything that we wanted to do at that point, and I felt so comfortable, so calm. First half, I was a little amped up because I've been waiting to play this game for so long, but once the nerves kind of calmed down and everything settled, it, I knew it was over from that. Straight ahead, Tony, then Bernie. Yeah, JJ, you said that there were no halftime adjustments made yet. You ran 11 times for 10 yards in the first half, and I think Donovan himself finishes for 215. How, how does that happen? How does that play with no adjustment? I mean, it, it's just like, pipes bursting, like we're putting the pressure on, we're putting the pressure on, we're putting it on, and then eventually it's going to burst. And I was just so happy to see him get through that front seven, and once he got passed through there, it was over. You, I want to ask both of you, you, when you threw that pass to him, and he is so wide open, what's going through your mind? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, you say, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, it was one of those plays where, you know, we've been practicing that like all week, all year, honestly. And then when I uh, broke him off and then came right over, I was just hoping he didn't throw it to somebody else yet. And I saw it wide open. I said, all right, bet. And then ran there. I was going to start taunting, but I just stayed down. <laughs> <laughs> JJ, you threw for three, ran one in on the road against your rival. The guy on the other side is a Heisman contender. On a personal level, how good does it feel to put up a performance like that? You know, I'm, I'm not so worried about the personal achievements, honestly. Yeah, I'm just so happy for every one of our guys. Like, I couldn't do it without the other 10 guys on the field. And it, it's just such a great win. You know, all that's going to come, but it was just amazing to get this team win. JJ, you kind of talked about it, but those touchdown passes, is that something you saw on film, or is that something you saw today, or a combination of both? Um, it's a combination of both, for sure. I mean, obviously, we saw some great looks on film, where to attack them. And, it was just, uh, it played out differently. Like, I did not expect him to be that wide open. And uh, especially Colston, too. We've been working back shoulder all week because he thought he was going to carry with them. But yeah, it was just kind of being out there and reacting to what they were giving to us. And could you expand on your journey from basically winning the job in the non conference to this point? Having um, to win the job. Like Coach Harbaugh says, it's been a happy mission. It's been a very happy mission. Like, uh, no matter what the road is, no matter what the route is, if you're winning every single week, uh, I couldn't be more happy. Uh, standing on the left, we'll build and load and pass. Uh, JJ, you guys haven't won here in uh, 22 years. I mean, what did it mean to walk out of this stadium with a victory for this program? It's been a lot. Um, I mean, it's huge. It's huge. Uh, 
we're not so much of a team that looks to the past and worries about it. We're always about the future, I mean the present, and worried about changing the future. And it was just one of those things where everything was aligned for us. We were ready. We wanted it more than anything. And it was just really awesome to do it the way we did. For both of you, this deep passing combination, did you feel like this was building all year long? Not that you were saving it for this day, but did you feel like when this day came, it would be there? Yeah, like, I mean, we just keep hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, and then eventually, you know, something's got to give. And today, you know, when it mattered most, in front of millions of people, uh, we were able to connect, and we were both on the same page. Off to the left, Pat? Yeah. For both guys as well. What did you see on film in their second day that you think you could exploit them uh, downfield? Yeah, I mean, we just, like, are confident in ourselves. You know what I mean? Like, we just have to trust ourselves. Like, the mindset, they can't run with us. You know, get by them. Do what you got to do, catch the ball, and you know, watching film. We watch like out, hours of film throughout the week, and it's beautiful to see it all play out uh, in a good way for Michigan. Okay, let's see the gentleman in the center there. Guys over here. Um, they say these things tend to be cyclical. These rivalries, it's two in a row for you guys now. What about these last two wins? Do you feel like you can carry over into the future and, and start to roll a few more? Uh, I didn't listen to the question. <laughs> <laughs> they, say, they say these rivalries tend to be cyclical. What about these last two wins? Do you guys feel like can be rolled over into to future games against these guys? Uh, I, I, I just say like I didn't play last game, but uh, like this game right here, like, it's definitely going to carry over. It's going to give us a lot of momentum um, into the Big Ten championship and you know whatever else um, you know the college football uh, analysts or whoever you know like ranks us. Uh, put success, so I mean it's gonna carry over. What about the confidence for you guys next time you guys have to play this team or the next time they have to play you? This stuff lingers around. How does that play a role going forward? Uh, I don't think the mindset changes because when when you come off wins, then you can kind of get that sense of complacency creeping in. But it, no matter what, we're always gonna keep doing what we've been doing this entire off season, day by day, and continue to carry that over next year. Back left corner, Austin. Donovan, what was the plan for you today with your hand? Did it change at all when Blake wasn't able to go? And how were you able to do what you did in the second half? Uh, the reason why I was able to do what I did is because of the Lord. Uh, you know, like I, I pray all the time and I talk to God all the time. And, you know, he, to he, he told me that, you know, like this was going to be our game for us. Uh, I was going to have like a breakout game. But, you know, like hopefully, you know, I always wish, you know, the best for everybody. Uh, Ohio State players if they're injured, my players if they're injured. Uh, I wish like, you know, like Blake has a speed of recovery because, you know, like he's an amazing football player and his team really needs him as well. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Standing in the front line. Yeah, um, obviously this is a team that's run all year. Um, Donovan, what does that mean for you guys? And is this not how you guys won this game? Like, you know, was it tough when you realized that, you know, you were only getting these runs for, you know, no game, two yards, three yards, like you said, at the beginning of the first half. And like, how did you kind of pivot to settle in a little bit more, aside from just, you know, calming down and how amped you were, you said? Um, I'm, we're a complete offense. That's what we pride ourselves on. Like, we'll be able to do it through the air or on the ground. <clears throat> and throughout the year, that, that's just been our mentality is, like I said all the time, smash fest. Like, we love running the rock and we love letting those big boys eat. But when the time came, like, the other half of us is going to show up and really perform. So I was just really happy that it came on this day. Do you, guys, do you guys feel you just imposed your will on that team? I'll just be like, you just got to embrace it. You know, like, you got thousands of people in the red screaming like hate words at you. You just got to just look at your boys. Like, you know, let's go, guys. Like, it's third and ten. What we got? Like, just run the play and then execute it. That's, that was my mindset the whole game. Let's talk about what your defense did in the second half, especially to keep you guys in this game. Oh, uh, they played great. They played great. Like, uh, credit to our host day too, because they have a great offense as well. You know, our DBs really stepped up. Uh, linebackers stepped up. D line stepped up. D line got pressure. Uh, you know, to the quarterback and you know, like stuffed the run a little bit. But like, uh, like what really like kind of helped us out and like saved the day was like Mikey. Uh, and I think they ran like a crossing route, like in the end zone, and like Mikey, uh, like played through the defender, and like you know, like that. That's like basically all it is right there, like like coming up big and like uh, big situations. That's what our defense did. We got a couple more before Coach Harbaugh makes the lead here, standing on the right, Ryan, and then Evan. 
Donovan, how much did, did you guys feed off the environment? It seemed like you were having a, a lot of fun and engaging with the Ohio State fans. I always have fun, man. You know, I, you know, I, I always get like into it with the other team. Not really, but like, at the end of the day, I'm still playing my game. So like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Donovan, the, the long touchdown run came through the line. There's nobody there. Right? Which one? Come <laughs> 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 through the line. There's nobody there. What, what, is, what does that feel like? Uh, uh, I don't know what it felt like, but like, I just like you know, like it, it's the offensive line first. You know, like they created such a big hole if you watch the film. And, you know, it's just like real easy to see. And then, like at that point, just like you gotta hit it. And you know, like, you gotta like, um, like just like outrun the the third level defenders, the safeties and DBs. So that's how I was like able to pull away with like those long touchdowns. And Credit to the offensive line. And Lee and Isaiah. Donovan, how much was it uh, a, a pain thing with you with your hand? I mean, was this always the game plan for you to, to have this much of a influence on the offense? Uh, I'm not sure, you know, like I had to like definitely like be like unexpected like what was to come like I don't know like what necessarily what the game plan was because you know like we threw the ball a lot then we ran the ball a lot then I had like 20 something carries 22 carries but uh I don't know like I just had to do what I had to do you know like uh, like every running back has to be relied on, you know, like Blake went down, so it's like somebody else had to step up. If I wasn't there to be able to do it, somebody else had to step up. And that's just like basically what we pride ourselves in is like if somebody's down, like like the whole running back room has to be accountable to like, you know, like get some, like get the offense going, you know, like the same way like JJ and the receivers did today that got the offense going. So that's what like us as a running back group we have to do. We have to like get it going regardless of who's in the game. And for all of you, what does it mean to, to beat Ohio State for a second year in a row and, and play at the Big Ten Championship? It's definitely personal. I mean, <clears throat> for me personally, like I was one on one against these guys coming in and I had to it was even, so I had to get up on these guys. And it was like you everyone keeps track of their personal records, you know, even we had guys come in here, uh, old Michigan players come in and talk to us during training camp and all that people ask is what's your record against state and you know like it doesn't matter your personal achievements what did you do how many how, what was your record how many rings you got that's what matters most and uh, i was glad i was able to come in here with my guys and i'll take care of business down here i mean it, it was great and all obviously to get a win like every win's great and especially this one but at the end of the day this one doesn't even matter this doesn't matter the job's not finished we got so so much more to do and so much, so many places to go. So the uh, job's not finished and we're ready to get after it. The boys sound like Kobe Bryant to you. <laughs> 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 Why are you smiling? 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 Considering how heavily Ohio State was recruiting you, does this your performance in this game carry a little bit extra, uh, a little bit extra for you? Uh, not really. You know, like we got goals. Like like JJ just said, like we want to. You know, like of course we want to be like all the state. Then like we want to, we want rings. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what we had to do. Like somebody had to lose today, whether it would be us or them. You know, like somebody had to win, somebody had to lose, but. I wouldn't say like this like necessarily like boost my pedestal because like at the end of the day it's not me that's doing it, it's the Lord that's blessing me to be able to do it. And uh like after this it's just like we gotta focus on the Big Ten championship now, you know, and then after that and after that and after that. So I hope that answered your question. Standing on the left top. JJ, with some of the questions you had about the passing game this season, how much did you let that creep in? And then what does a game like this do for you as a quarterback in terms of growth and, and growing as a leader? Um, I, I never let it creep in. Like, I was always going to keep firing. I always had 100% trust in every single one of my guys and, and, and in myself. And just to be able to do it today, it, it was so special. It was really so special. And there's still so many things that we need to do to work on and get better. But it was just, it was just great to finally see it come to fruition. JJ, the jump pass to Mullen, when did that? Get worked on and yeah, that was worked on since last year. I mean, we were we were about to call it in last year's game, but they put a post safety out there. So when I saw that, it was actually the first uh, fourth and one call or third and one. 
whatever it was, where we got stuffed, I knew it was going to be off the call sheet after that for sure. CJ, what's it like watching Mikey Sainer still out there after I was moving? so happy for him, like, just to see that. We always talk about, like, you know, like, we're doing this for the crew because that's what we call the receivers. And then to see him on defense, like, stepping up, making huge plays, like, the little things matter so much. And I knew they were going to try him. They are going to test him. It was like, they're probably like, oh, yeah, who is this kid? He's a receiver playing defense. But he's ready for it. He's good for it. All right, thank you all for your time. We're going to get these guys out of here.